I am here and I have my jar of rooibos right here. Amazing. Okay. So we have, we have, uh, yeah, we have sister speak joining us. Um, okay. Yeah. I can hear you. Amazing. W w can you show us that jar again? Sorry. There's uh awesome. Okay. So you've made, uh, you've emptied out some rooibos chai into a jar and, and we're kind of ready to rock and roll. So, um, today's going to be another one of those shorter episodes. So, um, we're those watching. I mean, it's not going to be one of our three-hour epics that we sometimes have, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna kind of <laughs> end the the year with uh, some rebos eggnog. But before we get there, um, you were just in Sharon. You were just in. Uh, you were just in Costa Rica. You were. Yeah, uh, it was and, really special. Yes, I was just there. I went from summer to winter. Boom boom. Yeah, you no longer look like you're in Costa Rica. You just. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a full Adidas ad today. Um, Amazing. Okay. Early Christmas present. Oh, sorry. The video just shot on us there for a second. Let's look. Okay. Oh. It's like the full, it's the full. Okay. All right. Amazing. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I'm actually all like, I, I feel like I'm, uh, I got my red on red with the gold. You see what's going on here? Um, yes. But I was just, re you know, actually in Victoria, um, as you well know, um, it never really snows, but for Last year and this year now we are having quite this quite a snowfall, which for here is like three days of snowfall, right? So, and then it's yeah. gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be done. But but uh, yeah, we're looking at a what are we looking at? We're looking at a foot of snow, I think. So thirty thirty five centimeters. That was like how much it snowed, and um, they shut down the buses. Uh, the the single snow plow that the city of Victoria has apparently. Um, uh, crash into a ditch, and so then they couldn't plow any roads no! for the, the whole day on the uh, on the Saturday, I guess. Um, sorry, not on the Saturday, on the on the Tuesday. And oh um, what did you do? Did you every, home? Everything was closed. We actually drove our car into town, and uh, the two staff that were working that day walked to work because they all, they they both walked to work, but uh, they're close enough. But nobody nobody. There was no accidents. Although outside the the shop, we have like a nice kind of sloping ice slide that's that's building up from the dripping water that immediately freezes, and it's it's an interesting hazard in front of the shop. But uh, other oh. than that, yeah. Uh. <laughs> so, but we're figuring it out. Yeah. Um, but how, uh, you you're uh, I, I was reading somewhere that uh, your area is about to get hit by a snowstorm that we caught the edge of. I mean, apparently it happened in Washington state here and then, uh, and then J Victoria is close enough that we just got like kind of an edge to it. Um, but, oh, uh, cool. in your neck of the woods, I, I don't know, are you gonna, uh, you might get the full brunt of it from the sounds of it. Hey. Yeah. I think there's like, a f wow. Yeah. All of Southern BC is getting, is getting hit by the storm. Then it's moving to the Midwest. Hmm. And then it's coming to like Southern Quebec and Vermont. And then it's supposed to go, get this, it's going to be like minus 20, but then plus 10 or 15 in the day. So it's going to be this flash freeze. And so they're wow. closing all the schools and stuff to like, so that it's like not, so they're like, don't be on the road tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. We, um, we were driving home yesterday and it was minus eight. And then when we, then minus nine, and then uh, it said that with the wind chill, it was minus 20. That's uh, that's some interesting weather. Yeah. <laughs> Same. In, in Do Victoria. You Sorry. You have winter tires. Um, I uh, I, I do not. Um, I have uh, winter tires. Um, uh, on my other vehicle, but not on the new one. So yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> I would. I would keep, maybe you can stick to the other vehicle for all all seasons. Yeah. You know, apparently, how uh, winter tires work is it's about um. Yeah, it's about frozen rubber. So if you're above plus seven, you should be wearing, you know, using your regular tires. But when you drop below seven degrees centigrade, um, 
uh, you, there's a, yeah, when you're below 7 degrees centigrade, then you've got to, yeah, you got to figure it out. So, yeah. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you, have yeah. All season? you have all seasons, though? Yeah, we have all seasons and we have all-wheel drive. Oh. So, oh, good. Yeah, so we're, okay. we're doing okay. Um, but I figure we could make some, some eggnog, um, or yeah, at least the Rebos burnt, eggnog. I, just, I made some homemade burnt eggnog already. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, you got to burn it. Yeah. You know, um, we, uh, we've been really enjoying this eggnog, um, that I was, that I was all like excited. He is, but anybody in Victoria needs to go check these guys out. Uh, if you don't already know them, I don't know if you can see that. You can't really see that. So let's do this see, camera. So this is full of pea, full of pea, oh, making their own, yeah. um, uh, organic, uh, handmade eggnog. So um, that is definitely the stuff we recommend. Um, I'm gonna have mine in um, uh, in uh, added a dash of cinnamon. So it's gonna be it's gonna be lovely. And what I want you to do is uh, if if it was like true eggnog, you said you're making your own. So I don't know if you need to do this, but if it's true eggnog, it actually tastes better to cut it uh, with uh, one third eggnog, two thirds milk. If you're gonna steam it up. Because when you steam it, it gives it a fluffier texture. Otherwise, it's too dense, and okay. uh, it's not as good. So if you have eggnog, if somebody's watching this and making this drink at home, uh, what you're going to want to do is do 180 uh, grams of eggnog uh, total. Sorry, eggnog milk mixture. So that means that that you're going to divide it into three. So one third eggnog, and you're going to do two thirds milk. So. Um, I'm going to grab my milk, but I've already made the mixture. So well, that's good. I just made a oat milk with um, vanilla, nutmeg, and cinnamon. That works too. Yeah. You know, like, um, I think one of the things that they like to do with eggnog is, um, is to, is to use raw eggs um and when you're you know when you're making it at home that's something you can do but it's kind of hard to get the real deal eggnog at a store because of course it's illegal to sell something like that but the real deal stuff has also a little bit of rum in it um but i like to always make mine non-alcoholic so um i end up kind of following the recipe to a point and then uh and then i make it this way but if you're if you want to make this drink like as a hard eggnog that's totally your call um but my preference is definitely to make it uh by grabbing some sort of like traditional recipe book and using that or if you have a really good eggnog in town then use that but generally they're really thick so one third eggnog two thirds milk um oh. and, and then we're gonna grab our rebos chai yeah. which kind of adds you know you said you added nutmeg and stuff there is nutmeg in this which is nice so it kind of adds i know i thought that i was like there's already the stuff in it that i added so it's kind of <laughs> but it's not vanilla that's the big difference that's the big difference okay <laughs> so yeah and then if you were gonna you know what you might want to try doing is uh, whipping up some eggs, egg whites, and uh, is it eggs? Egg. I whole... don't have any eggs right now because we ate, ate uh, eggs uh, every day in Costa Rica, and I got sick of them. But uh, I love it. I just need a break. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like a meringue-like texture. Like when you when you want to go oh. out like hardcore and do like a right. a true eggnog, you can you can go down the path of uh, of making it that way. You know what I? Oh, go sorry. ahead. No, I'm just aching to share a quick side story with you. Let's hear it. What's up? Okay, so one of my most amazing musical memories is in Chicago. We saw an act play, and she had, like, these, like, punk rock, like, kick the leg up in the air dance moves and, like, fishnet stockings and that exact headset that you're wearing okay. as part of her live show. And I just was wondering if you ever consider wearing a headset with punk stockings, I'll do it. Yeah. Oh, sure. oh yeah. Oh, I just got to do it. Maybe that'll be a, the new truth in dolphin getup. It'll be uh, just fishnet stockings and uh, and a, and a Sennheiser uh, headset, gaming headset. That's, and uh, uh, Steve Schmiller in the background doing punk rock kicks. Oh yeah, yeah. Glam you know, rock, glam rock. you know he would be up for it. Yeah. No, it's 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 uh it's got to happen. <laughs> It was an amazing showcase to be a part of at the House of Blues. I'll never forget it. It's hilarious. <laughs> um, so for those watching, this is uh this is a Rebo's chai that we sell on our webpage, and it is just coconut sugar with um, Rebo's that's been milled like matcha, and then we put in some cloves, some black pepper, 
um, and uh, nutmeg. Yeah, nutmeg, cinnamon. Did I say them all? Black pepper, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, rebose powder. Two tablespoons or one? Sorry? How many tablespoons of rebose? Uh, Rebos. Um, Rebos is about two. Uh, eight grams. Eight grams. Eight grams. Yeah, eight grams, and then I like to, to put it over. The trick for making a good Rebos shot is you put the water in first, and then you mm -hmm. put the powder on top. So I like to put thirty grams of uh pretty hot water in, and then I put the eight grams of Rebos on top. Now. You know, you're cooking your rebos. This is thing you can do at home is you can actually you don't need the water at all. You can just totally, um, you can just totally um, stir the rebos if you wanted to the rebos chai powder directly into the hot eggnog. Oh. Like you can skip the water entirely if you're so inclined. Okay. So I don't know how much milk, like how much eggnog you've made there. You'd have to sort of like go okay. <laughs> Two thirds of a cup is 180 mils. That's what I'm going for for eight grams. So, and and roughly that's a tablespoon, a leveled off tablespoon, like a like an actual measuring tablespoon, not just a random tablespoon from the cupboard, mm -hmm. but a measured off tablespoon per kind of cup ish of 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 eggnog that you've heated up in the pan like that should do the trick for you. Okay, I have a, a I'm stirring it with a honey stick. Check this out. I got it at the farmer's market. Amazing. Okay, that's very I good. Mean, a whisk would probably be better. I have one of those too. Okay. Okay. Cool. But it's kind of fun with a honey stick. I don't know why. I'm into it. So we have. Uh, I'm gonna grab this cup. I'm gonna preheat it. You know, I I, I had a a friend of mine was watching Jagavision, and apparently I made I had this very scattered. Rebo's apple cider episode I did like three or four episodes ago, and oh, I, was, yeah. I was I um yeah and and I guess I was like in this massive hurry or I was really tired but I didn't even tell the people who were watching what it tasted like I just made it and drank it and I was like ah. <laughs> that's it I didn't, oh actually, I didn't give any opinion um for the record it was very good yeah. <laughs> this is this is that's hilarious yeah this is four episodes later that's my that's my <laughs> You know, okay. you know what I did once. Feedback. I did the no, I did the backport sessions one. Uh, uh, was it in Costa Rica? The one I did recently. Mm. I talked so much. <laughs> it was like unbearable to rewatch it. That's funny. You know, I actually I have some cool news. Um, we just uh, hired a company that's gonna do highlights of the Jagavision episodes. So there'll be like an opening sequence and an ending sequence. And then it's going to show like pictures of stuff that we're talking about and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be edited down. So instead of being an hour long, it'll just kind of get like the, the crux of them and they're going to be called Jagavision highlights. And it's oh, going to turn, gonna yeah, release gonna, them separately? they're going to be released separately. So they will be like, right now we have on our playlists on our channel, Ooh. we have Jagavision, we have Jaga Silk music and we have the tutorials. We're going to yeah. have, uh, we're going to have Jagavision highlights as its own playlist. Cool. Yeah, so that should be fun, and then. I've gonna... been thinking about doing that for Patreon. I, I uh, I've been thinking about doing that myself, but it'd be nicer if I had a company do it. Yeah. No, it's a, uh, it's a fellow who was um who caught our eye. He did some work for the Tea Society, and uh, cool. thought, what a, what a talented fellow, and then, found out that the, also another musician, so. That's cool. He's like a guitar player, but he hasn't been a guitar player for 10 years because he got so busy with his videography company. Oh, wow. But uh, a passion for for music, and he seems to dig the tea. Cool. So, yeah. Okay, I just I, I added some water to it, and it just sealed the deal. I, I did it opposite, but I, I tried it without cutting it with water. Yeah. And even with the one at homemade eggnog, it was so good just with just, a little water. It needed that. Just that little bit. You know, when I'm making a chai, um, I find that, that, you know, some of our customers just steam the powder right into it, just like I was saying almost. They'll just put yeah. the powder in, they'll steam it together. 
I find that having that little bit of water, it makes it flavor a little bit more sophisticated. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it does. It, brought, it just completely brought everything out. It was like a, it's almost like we, we it like drank some water and came back to life. Right. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Okay. Well, let's see. Look. That's incredible. There's our, uh, there's our rebos eggnog. So again, for those watching, what you're going to want to do is make a rebos chai shot. So eight grams, 30 mils, and then you stir it in. Um, and you put the powder on top of the water. That's going to make it so that it, it doesn't cake across the bottom. And then you're going to steam up some eggnog, which you're going to cut one third, two thirds with, with milk. If you're using a milk alternative, sometimes you don't need to cut it at all, or, you know, you're cutting it, but you cut it a little less. You have to tweak that. I'm, I'm used to tweaking it with whole milk. So I'm going to use whole milk, two thirds and one third is just a good quality eggnog. And my favorite in Victoria is from the people at Full of Pea who make their own handmade eggnog. My another, the best that I've ever had uh, is when you make it. Oh, that looks great. That looks awesome. Yeah. yeah. But homemade eggnog all the way. Like I'm super, like if you can find some sort of like craft recipe book that gives you a really nice sort of old school eggnog that you can make from scratch. And then you, you know, you take that and you put in a shot of this Rebo's chai, I think you're going to be pretty, pretty stoked. So let's, I'm let's give it a try. I'm pretty sure that mom's making that right now. Homemade eggnog. Eggnog from scratch. That's, that's great. Okay. I'm pretty sure she probably made it for us growing up. So, oh my God, this is so good. Oh, wow. the chat, the chat says our viewer from the Okanagan is, uh, is enjoying their eggnog without a scale. So apparently these mm. tablespoon measurements were quite helpful. <laughs> Ooh. Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry mm. Christmas. This is so good with the vanilla. Mm. Mm. That's very good. Yeah. Yeah. A dash of vanilla Ooh. goes a long way. I think a lot of like oh. uh, craft uh, eggnog recipes do call for it. You know, I'm what not a. Taste like? Go what ahead. Does it taste like? What does uh, it taste like? I'm tasting. Um, yeah, it's tasting smooth. I'm tasting some really nice. Uh, the nutmeg is, 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 is pretty good here. I guess we double up on the nutmeg when we do the the eggnog and the, the rebos chai together, but it's, it's, it's not a bad thing. You know, egg, nutmeg that's old tastes kind of like gasoline, um, but Ooh. when it's nice and fresh, it's just so beautiful. So, you know, like it's it's nice when it doesn't taste like gasoline. And I would say my one big complaint about like uh, really mainstream eggnog is that that can sometimes happen. It's some really oxidized spices in the mix and also overuse of carrageenan and corn syrup and all sorts of um, unfortunate ingredients. And, uh, you know, guar gum it's not like they're like i don't think there's anything that i'm aware of that's like really bad for you when it comes to guar gum and stuff but there's a texture issue that i have a problem with like when i drink it it's yeah. just kind of almost like too i don't know it's just this weird sensation on my teeth so whenever there's guar gum in something i always go like, mm, i don't know maybe if they it don't use a like lot a of it but... sorry go ahead it tastes like a box it tastes like a box to me like a cardboard box yeah 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 no i hear you yeah it's 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 uh it's unfortunate so yeah but you um, know if you get a good good eggnog you're in you're in a good place yeah, yeah I, I wanted to say that the vanilla is amazing there's like a sweet and a spicy happening mm. here because okay. of the pepper in the i think this batch of rubis is uh, uh, exceptionally peppery right okay yeah I'm, I'm i'm really liking that are you is it too peppery no it's perfect okay it's cool. like the one um i mixed it with one one that was a little bit more on the sweet side with the peppery one and now it's like now we're in it, a good it, place it's a, yeah. <laughs> so, it was like an old I thought it was done this. It was an old so one. two ex yeah our extreme inconsistency that's why i have a jar like it's like <laughs> you know every year the, the reality is is that every year as much as we'd like to believe that our recipes are going to be consistent because we weigh the spices and we you mm -hmm. know but we have a different mill this year than we did in previous years and a different spice mill. And then year to year, like the spices themselves are going to change. So the reality is we probably have some work ahead of us where we just got to go in and, and tweak the recipes every year, especially around the spice harvest season. So we can just mm. make sure that everything's still where it needs to be. When I do go back and taste them, I'm still pretty happy. I just don't know how consistent they are. Like we regularly taste them, but uh, not as often as I think we should. Like with our matcha, we we taste every single kilogram if we can um that we're right. milling whereas with the chais i think it's more random audits every once in a while and uh yeah it's a good reminder to <laughs> to go and if they're tasting inconsistent some sweet and some too peppery then <laughs> that's that's actually not ideal 
<laughs> well, I did. I did use like rooibos that's like several months old. Like okay. And it's, and it's so delicious. Like it's from a prior mixed. It's like all mixed. It's a mixed batch. Okay. It's like your, your least favorite thing, probably. New tea onto the old tea. Yeah, that's. Uh... Yeah, I know it's not a good thing to do. I just I had I for some reason I had so much chai rooibos because okay. I had it been home for a few months here i was home at the other home you know it's okay. really good travel tea i have to say you know like yes. if you if you if you get a you know we hear all the time camping um it was popular yes. on the boat when uh, folks uh, adam creek and, and that crew were going across the atlantic ocean they loved the tea lattes for the ease of just stirring them into some milk and mm. bam you know so it's sure. definitely a friend favorite whenever i make it for them people become obsessed with it and also with the masala machai nice you know, I'm not super into London fogs. I like our London fog, but we've been doing ocean swimming recently and or oh. for, the last, for this year. And after an ocean swim, when it's really cold, London fogs, glorious, glorious. I was oh. supposed to leave one of these for Jill and I didn't. You'll get there. You'll get um, there. You just got to make so, one from scratch. Yeah, yeah. I'll make more. Um, <laughs> it's just so good. I can't stop. Um, <laughs> it's just like. It's definitely like a, it's after a swim. I think the sugars are probably at, like it's like calories, right? But like good, like it's almost like having chocolate milk after a workout, you know. I hear you exactly. I think that apparently when you go for the ocean swims too, like your body just really benefits from a nice sugar hit. But you know, we're 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 coming up to the end of our time together because uh, you got to mm. go uh, pretty quick here and. This is going to be one of those the shorter episodes, but it's been really nice. Like, I feel like it's been a while. Like, you've been trying to get on the show. I often have your name in there with Sherry Ann, you know, and, Thank you. and uh, it often, you know, uh, there's just been so many glitches and stuff, especially for the last uh, couple of months here, um, that when we do get you on, it's, 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 it's a joy. So I'm, I'm really glad that you're here and that you were able to make this happen, especially it's so meaningful because this is the last episode of the year and, and, uh, and then we're going to reconvene uh, second week of January. So yeah, it cool. should, uh, should be fun to take some time away. And yeah, and who knows? Maybe the second week of January, you might even be in Victoria? I am in Victoria. Maybe a live uh, in-person uh, Jagavision is possible? Yeah, okay, yes. amazing. All right, so the next time we have uh, Jagavision happening, we'll have Sister Speak in the house. So, awesome, yeah. let's do it. And okay. um, also, what, what recommendations do you have for the holiday week for teas? people to drink holiday week for teas yeah you know i don't know what it is but i get really into hot chocolate um mm, at uh yes. at christmas time and it's almost like it's maybe that's not just me maybe that is like a thing but i was at uh chocolate and co yesterday they're here in victoria as well a really nice chocolate company and they use uh, some of our products. And one thing they were doing is, and we've had this on the bar as a feature drink too, but they were using their really good drinking chocolate and they were mixing in uh, the masala chai and having a like a chai drinking chocolate. So that's, Ooh. highly recommend that. Um, you can also uh, do that with the London Fog, it's lovely. If you're gonna use the green tea chai or you're gonna do that with matcha, use a good, uh, like a good quality white chocolate drinking chocolate because the matcha, is too um, delicate to really be flavorful in a dark chocolate, even though normally dark chocolate's my yeah. favorite. Um, you're gonna find that though, that where a white chocolate might taste a bit incomplete, the bitters and the uh, the pseudotannins in the, in the tea are gonna really help to build a complete flavor experience and it's gonna be lovely. So anyway, Case, to just say it shortly, um, matcha and white chocolate or matchai, the green tea chai and white chocolate or London fog or rebos chai mixed into dark chocolate for a drinking chocolate over the holidays. Highly recommend. Um, or just something, you know, if you're cold, um, Chinese medicine often suggests um, these sort of darker oxidations. So the cold uh, is going to mm. do really well to have crimson teas or what we call black teas in North America. So have a okay. really lovely Jinjun Mei on our website. It tastes like brown sugar when you make it really strong, it's so lovely. Mm. And then um, I would probably go into sort of the darker oolongs. Like we have a beautiful Yashi Xiang that uh, I've been really loving. Um, and uh, maybe that's too many answers. There's so many no, there's just, so many teas to drink. I know, I'm gonna add one more because I just came home and I haven't had the Singer's Delight in a while. Oh, and I didn't even go into the herbals, yes. Right, I know, but the Singer's Delight, I was like, wow, for like, 
with like, sister like... speak on the show i didn't even mention singers to no that's okay <laughs> but it's legitimately that, that like, was a, that was a fail <laughs> yeah <laughs> No. For the moms and the holidays, everyone's getting yeah. sick. Oh, I know. I literally just sold one yesterday at the door. Somebody was like, hey, evening tea, non-caffeinated. And I'm like, well, you could do the peppermint, because, but, you know, the mint is mild stimulant. Really, your best bet is going to be the singer's delight with the, uh, the honey bush, tea. the marshmallow root, and the raspberry yeah. leaf, you know, soothes the throat, nice in the evening. Yeah, no, it's it's a good place to be, and a little, you know, sometimes people like a little bit of honey in there too, and that's not a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I wonder how we could Christmas it up a little somehow. <laughs> I know. Christmas up the, it's the singer's delight. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess there's room. There's room. You could do just honey and cinnamon. Why not? Yeah, I want to try it with honey and cinnamon. Yeah, do apple, it. Or yeah. Apple cider. Why don't you do like a like a honey and cinnamon, and then tell tell the masses what it tastes like. Maybe we can. We can hear about it on uh, on the that intranet. The, on the on Sister Speak story. I yeah, got something like that. Yeah, let's. let's okay. okay. Oh, then, quick question: If I up? have peppermint hot chocolate, it's like really good quality peppermint hot chocolate. Okay. Could I mix that with a rabbit's chai or a black chai? Ah, uh, the mint flavor. I have. Why not? Yeah, you know, like what, what are it. you doing? You know, you're you're putting in some cardamom, cinnamon, ginger. Right, if those flavors together are gonna to taste good with mint and chocolate, hell yeah, yeah. That's, that's, I think yeah, you're gonna try, go, go, try it out, <laughs> just see what it's like. Might be really sweet if you're not careful, but it might be just perfect. Yeah, yeah. might I'll be even less the... sweet than having it on its own because the the again the 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 the, the bitters and etc. in the tea might help to temper things a bit. So I might yeah. do it with like a flax milk so that it's not a sweet milk. Sure, yeah, give it a go. I think that'd be really fun. See how it is. <laughs> awesome well give us some feedback once you make the the singer's delight with the with the the honey and the cinnamon and yeah i think you'll be and maybe you could even put in a little bit of crack of pepper or something <laughs> yeah yeah cool okay well thanks for coming on the show where where um where do people uh go and get their their last minute you know when i bought cds last minute i just i bought i printed off my order confirmation and i put it in the gift card so anybody watching that wants to get some sister speak cds it's not too late you buy them and all you got to do is print off the order confirmation put it in the card and say this is coming to a mailbox near you soon may not be in there now or on christmas day but like they that's the envelope that they open so that's that's how we get around the yeah, fact that yeah. it's so late in the year they can still get your cds for gifts it's going to be great where do they buy them though sisterspeakmusic.com i actually put up the cd plus singers delight there's only like five Ooh, okay so people can do the cd and the singers delight together as like a, and i put a, a note that if it's not available on the website go to jagasilk.com oh no <laughs> awesome okay well i think they should get the the, the 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 combo through the through the sister speak site that's my vote on this but yeah awesome cool <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, be careful out there. We don't want you to get hurt in that, that crazy snowfall. So just uh, stay yeah. warm and, and, and don't let the heat the heater go off and have some sort of backup plan in case it does, okay? Yeah, we're not even going to go out drive tomorrow. So. And, and same to you. Please stay safe. Like, really watch your tires. <laughs> Will do. Will do. We'll be careful. Yeah. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Bye. holidays. Happy holidays. Yay. See ya. All right. <laughs> so that was uh, that was Sherry Ann with Sister Speak joining us for our um, our last episode of the year. So when you uh, come to watch us next week, we won't be well, we won't be here. So you gotta wait a couple weeks. So come and join us January 9th. Sister Speak will be live here in uh, Jugasilk. Um, we are closed as of the 20. Third, so tomorrow, Friday, is our last day open. If you want to come and get some drinks and retail, etc., that's your chance to do it. Um, any orders that are received on our webpage uh, during this time will ship out as soon as we get back. So we get back on the week of the 9th. So you can still place orders on the page, but just know that it's going to ship a little bit delayed. 
So thank you so much for your support. 2022 has been a blast. 2023 is going to be even better. Um, it's been amazing. Uh, and uh, yeah, any comments, any questions, don't hesitate to write something out in that comment section. Um, click subscribe if you want to see when we go live. You want to click the notification bell. And uh, yeah, really appreciate you watching us. I assume you're watching us on YouTube right now because that's all we're broadcasting to at the moment. Um, but gratitude if that is the case. And uh, if this is an old episode that you're watching from the future, um, hopefully you uh, enjoy all of the rest of the shows as well. Thank you so much and have a fantastic, fantastic day. Um, and Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Everything. Bye.